Calls for the decriminalisation of drugs has gathered widespread support from public figures such as Dame Judi Dench and Sir Richard Branson. There are 30 well-known names who have signed an open letter to the Prime Minister backing the Global Commission on Drug Policy suggestions to decriminalise drugs in order to take a more practical approach to managing the market. By looking at the past 50 years of drug control, the Commission concluded that criminalising drugs had not worked and instead they had to be dealt with as a health matter. Well, in the report they talk about uh, two things. The first one is um, uh, decriminalisation of personal possession and use, which has happened in a number of countries already and seems to be delivering better outcomes. But they also, crucially, do call for an experiment, at least, with uh, legal regulation of drugs, the legalisation and regulation of drugs. Now, that to some may seem a uh, particularly radical position, but actually it is a rational alternative to the failures of prohibition. If prohibition doesn't work, it's not getting rid of drugs. If we can't get rid of drugs, we have to look at pragmatically managing those markets to reduce the harm that those drugs cause. Former UN General Secretary Kofi Annan is on the commission along with other notable politicians. Well, it's a fascinating group of people who've backed this report. It's not just Kofi Annan, the former General Secretary of the UN. It's a whole group of uh, former presidents, many of them from Latin America, countries that have been on the front line of the, the war on drugs and the, and the harms and problems associated with the war on drugs. Uh, a series of businessmen like Richard Branson and Paul Volcker, but also a series of senior UN uh, officials, uh, mostly from the, the arena of human rights. The campaign group release claimed nearly 80,000 people in the UK were convicted of possessing illegal drugs last year alone.